Back on the main floor, I will take you through the Hankamer Treasure Room. The Hankamer Treasure Room is called the Treasure Room because some of the library's more priceless items have been housed here. Originally, all of Robert Browning's manuscripts, correspondence, first editions of his publications, and rare works by and about him were held in this room. The Armstrongs designed this room's architectural features to communicate its purpose with visitors. The ceiling in this room is hand-painted on wood and molded plaster and was inspired by a 14th century wooden ceiling of a church in Venice. The floor is of Gothic oak and is done in the Marie Antoinette design, patterned after the wooden floors in Versailles Palace. The large fireplace bears the Browning coat of arms. We have several pieces of furniture in this room which belong to the Brownings, such as this piece which they bought on their honeymoon and used at Casa Guidi. Here is the chair from the painting in the Elizabeth Barrett Browning Salon. And Robert Browning purchased this table shortly before his death while he was visiting his son in Venice. The top is inlaid with an intricate geometric pattern of bone and ebony wood and light colored wood stringing. This bust is a copy of a bust of Shelley given to the Brownings by Thomas Carlyle, a Victorian prose writer. As a young man, Robert Browning was greatly influenced by Shelley's poetry. The Madonna painting, which dates from around 1600, hung in the Browning's home in Florence. The artist is unknown. This painting, The Serenade by Daniel MacLeese, inspired Robert Browning's poem In a Gondola. Also in this room, we have two original Guarcinos, Charity and St. James the Grander. Guarcino is the same artist who painted The Guardian Angel. These were given to us by a donor who knew of Robert Browning's appreciation for The Guardian Angel. The Crest Study Collection, comprising five paintings, is housed in the treasure room. These were a gift of the Crest Foundation to Baylor University in 1961 as part of an effort to share European old master paintings with students in rural areas. This Madonna and Child is the oldest piece of art in the Browning Library, dating back to as early as 1310. It was the centerpiece of a five-part Sienese altarpiece. Zuccarelli's Landscape with a Bridge from around 1720 is my favorite of the Crest Study Collection paintings. This is the last portrait ever done of Robert Browning and the last verse he ever wrote. While Browning was visiting his son and daughter-in-law in Venice, another guest in their home, G.D. Giles, did this quick pencil sketch of Browning and then asked him to sign it. Browning wrote, Here I am gazing wide awake, Robert Browning, no mistake. Underneath that he put Venice, November 24, 89. Browning died at his son's home in Venice 18 days later on December 12th after a short illness. He is buried at Poet's Corner at Westminster Abbey in London. The Jones Manuscript Case contains original letters, manuscripts, drawings, photographs, and other items pertaining to the Brownings. Each drawer is labeled. 